All right, well. Today's the day. Today's the day, we're gonna pick up a new car. <laughs> Bit of a clue in the background. Can you see it? Oh no, wait. Oh no, wait. That's a bit of a clue. <laughs> there we go. I wonder we waited so long. You know, I wonder we waited so long. I think a lot of you guessed we were yeah. always going to get a Toyota. Yeah. Because we love Toyotas. Yeah. We'll go find out which one we got. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that one. I keep teasing you guys. Uh, I think those rugs look really nice though. <laughs> wow, finally. Oh my god, look at the cheese cutter tires on it. Yeah. It's tiny. It's funny, on our other, we've got it. We have a thousand rex near our protection. Oh, yeah. Holly, oh, going. Oh, you can open the door. I can open the door. So. Can't do that on Elsie. You can open both of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it like that V8 Perth? That clutch is different. Going the wrong way. Gotta keep going this way. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Finally, after 15 months, wow, turning circles sucks. <laughs> I just made it. Wow, the turning circle's worse than Elsie. <laughs> All right. And that's with big tires, small tires on. Yeah, oh, power steering is nice. So excited! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Let's listen to it. Yeah, seating position's funny though. I'd like the seat to go back a fair bit further. Like, I'm not a short guy, and um, yeah, it's quite a quite a close to the wheel. I mean, not as bad as Elsie, but but yeah, you look very on top of the wheel. Yeah. So cautious, I'm like, oh no, I'll let these people go. Maybe though it's two. Oh, that's so good. Far out. People say this is a sluggish engine or an asthmatic V8. It's friggin' awesome. And this is so quiet. This is like a Rolls Royce compared to Elsie. Mm -hmm. So if anyone says in the comments, oh, it's the most uncomfortable, rah rah. This is an, such a stratospheric upgrade to Elsie. It's just, yeah, it's insane. Ah, oh, this feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Driving out the new troop. Let's put the fan on. <laughs> and if anyone says, oh, uh, um, right at this If anyone says, oh, uh, you got. Air, air con panel from 1980, 1990 Corolla. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. It's more than what we had. It's more than what we had. It's oh. a little chilly, a minute. So we're actually in Wagga now, and uh, we're going to be driving literally back to Tumut, pick up Elsie, and Holly's going to drive this, and I'm going to drive Elsie to Sydney, and we're going to the four-wheel drive show. So we're going straight there. This isn't even registered. It's just on permits. Um, and then we're going to have it on display at the Sydney Four Wheel Drive Show, and then we're going to drop it off at Project Overlander in Sydney, where all the work's getting done to it. So everything from fit out to the GVM upgrade to track correction, um, everything. So yeah, I'm glad we've got an opportunity to drive it stock 
so I have like something to compare it to um, for when we upgrade it. So yeah, busy, busy, busy day. We've got a long drive ahead. <laughs> and it's already 12. It's already 12, so we've, we've got a, we're gonna be late actually. We we're a, a bit late, we've got a motor. Yeah. All right, we just got home. We're in a huge rush. And Holly just put the first mod in on the Troopy. Absolutely essential, a one stone armrest. We've got these in Elsie and they're fantastic. So, gone black, so a bit of a hint of what's to come with the interior, but yeah, and they're pretty good. And quick too. A minute, done. The new Troopy, it is here at Project Overlander in Sydney, so this is the workshop that we'll be doing the full build. Yeah. These guys can do everything from your interior fit out, accessory fitment, GVM, track volt, corrections, 12 volt, suspension. <laughs> engine mods. They are literally yeah. a one stop shop for anything overlanding. Yeah. Uh, so we're really excited to have them on board, and it's just going to make it so good to have yeah. a professional <laughs> yeah. do the work. So it will actually last. Yeah. Ours is literally falling apart. So. Um, and we've got some great ideas with it. So yeah. yeah, we've just rolled in from the Sydney show. We had a big three days there. Yeah. Uh, look, if you came down and said g'day to us, um, we really, really appreciate it because you know sometimes around the bush, yeah. and you've got the camera <laughs> pointed at your head like I do now. Uh, you don't know if anyone's yeah. watching. Don't so. know if anyone's watching, or if it's worth it, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so we really, really love, you know, just chatting to people and, yeah. you know, and then coming up and saying that, uh, you know, we've inspired them to get out, or they've really appreciated the advice. So yeah. it makes it all worth it. And uh, yeah, we're just really excited to have the car here <laughs> in the next phase of the channel. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so here is Steve, the owner of Project Overlander. Uh, now, you started this up how long ago? Only about nine months ago, February, months ago. February yep. this year, 2022, we started off. But how long have you been sort of in this industry or just overlanding in general for? Uh, Travelling and doing the overlanding ever since I was a kid with the family. Yeah. And uh, personally, since about uh, a day after I got my licence. <laughs> yeah. In an old Sigma. Yeah, so <laughs> an old Sigma. Sigma wow. station wagon, which has been renowned. But... <laughs> But then through, you know, Troopies and, and the 70 series and the Utes have been my passion yeah. forever. Yeah. And I'll just be, I just, I said before to the camera, I said, it's so nice having someone to bounce ideas off because Holly and I, I said, we're not set in our ways, but it's just, I don't know, you sort of get, get bounced around in your own head. You have these just ideas. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll do this here and that there. And it's been really good having Steve, Steve say, well, why don't we put this there or, you know. Because there's no set rules in these things. Yeah. And especially with the Troopies, there's a big volume of space, but it's hard to access those areas. Yeah. So playing with what suits that person the best and, and the type of equipment they're going to use or the size of the fridge they might need, that's that little bit of conversation goes a long way to the final design. Yeah, absolutely. Now, your shop here, um, where are we and what are you guys actually specialising because you're not just doing interior fit outs and yep. you know, overlanding fit outs. So we're in Smeaton Grange, New South Wales, that's so unit 2, uh, 40 Dunn Road, Smeaton Grange. The, the, we're pretty vast in what we can do. We can do anything from suspension and GVM upgrades, uh, rooftop tents with Camp King and, and, and others. Um, Interior fit outs is a really big part of it. 12 volt systems are a huge part, but we've got an auto electrician on site as a part of the business. We've got a, a mechanic. We've also got, uh, I suppose you call him a bodybuilder come fabricator who's yep. done all chassis extensions and all that sort of stuff. So our ability to, uh, amongst the group, to create any part, even if it's a little bracket with, what, with machinery and stuff we've got, through to the full fit out we're covering all bases yeah and just like for us having a one-stop shop um because when you're getting these builds done there's so many aspects to it that you know if, if i was moving the car around all over the place it'd actually be a real mission oh, so just being able to bring it here and you know you're going to do the track correction yep. dbm you know accessory install from you know front rear bar right. all the build out water tank custom water tank 12 volt is actually awesome having a, a specific overlanding workshop that you can and that and that's our that was our passion was to build a vehicle to let people experience the stuff that we've 
we've experienced. Yeah. And I get really excited, even just telling you now, yeah. I get really excited by the fact of building a vehicle and having a conversation about the destination yeah. and what's it going to take to get there. Is it is it literally from the ground up? Is it just having a chat about tyres? Is it about suspension? And then the fit out and yeah, it's and, and water and how am I going to store that one? How much is good for you? Do you shower a lot? Do you do you, you know? Yeah. Is there kids involved? Because obviously, being a father, you realise kids and their needs is very yeah. different to how you travel as well. So being able to walk, someone walk in and pick up that car that's had their their, yeah. their vision delivered yeah. is is nice. Because every build's individual. Everyone has Absolutely. individual use cases and. That's what you guys are all about. Yeah, so, yeah. and it's all—it all starts with conversation. Yeah, and I'm excited. Eh? It's so exciting. I was saying it's actually hard to stay on track when you're talking about it. So, <laughs> yeah, but what, what about this? Well, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's exciting. It's really it. fun. And you're a 40 owner. Yep. You know, you got you got your troopy. Got your old ute, troopy, you got so a ute. That's how you got onto us yep. originally. Yeah. Yep. So he's got good taste, in other words. <laughs> So yeah, we're really excited. Um, yeah, we're yeah. going to be going back and forth to Sydney. We're going to film the entire build. It's all going on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I'm and so, excited. And some of the some of the stuff we're doing as far as the the quality brands of products. Yeah, yeah. The, the the knowing how good they're going to do the job for. Yeah. And and creating that workspace and that uh, ease of use and ease yeah. of access where it doesn't become a chore. Yeah. It made a lot of sense for us. Uh, a lot of the gear that Steve sells, like we have on the on the car, you know, Red Ark, Cam King, yep. Shilman seats. Shilman. So it just it all it was all very easy, and you know, once I'd sort of seen that you deal in those kind of products, I knew that you know what you're talking about. And now, about and now with the new car and what it needs, with, with the multi-drive, the track yep. correction, uh, and again the GVM upgrades, yes. uh, yep. and a few, hopefully, a few surprises along the way. Yes. Yep. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, excited, mate. Let's get stuck in. Cheers, mate. Let's do it. So, yeah, so exciting news. Obviously, you all know now that we bought a new Mm -hmm. Troopy. So I suppose we just wanted to jump on here quickly and probably explain why we decided a Troopy. Um, Initially, we did go to Toyota and we looked. We wanted prices on a Prado, a Hilux, and a Troopy. And the 79. Yeah. So those are actually our our four vehicles we considered. (laughs) Uh, I think, I don't know, it was kind of funny. We, I think it was almost like we were just like doing it because we felt like we had to, but I think deep down we always knew we wanted a Troopy. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we own a Troopy. We've got Elsie. Uh, we love her. It's amazing. And we're um, not selling her. I might just point in really quickly. We're not selling her. <laughs> I'll get a bit more into that later, but... Um, you know, we've, we've been in a Troopy, we've, you know, mm. uh, experienced the lifestyle, uh, the space that the vehicle offers as a platform to tour in. Uh, I really don't think there's anything quite like a, well, there's nothing like a Troopy no, on the market at the moment. Yeah, there's yeah. obviously a four-wheel drive vans like Delicas, which is a four-wheel drive van. Mm, but as a new vehicle. Oh, yeah, as a yeah, new vehicle. No, yeah. not really. And then you're looking at what your 4 by 4 coast is, if you are looking at a new yeah, vehicle, which is that are, right? You know, really expensive. Yeah. They're conversions and, yeah, mm. it's, uh, it's a car from a bygone era, 1985, yeah. so... I think that's crazy that they're still making them. Um, it's so, literally the next model up from yeah. LC. Uh, they literally went from the HJ47 to the 70 series. So the body from like the steering wheel back is exactly the same as in 985 or pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, so it's just funny, we got the next model up 40 years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got massive plans for the Troopy. Uh, as we have said, uh, it's at Project Overlander. We're going to be there for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be going back and forth, mm-hmm. uh, filming the entire build. This entire build is going to be on YouTube, so definitely watch this space. Uh, it's yeah. going to be really, really exciting. I think one thing I wanted to point out to people was, yes, this is going to be a really, really nice build. Uh, Holly and I have been saving up for a very long time for this. Uh, we've been working for years and years and years towards this. Uh, we work in the industry, so you know we've got those advantages as well. Uh, but for people watching, uh, I think a Troopy is an awesome platform because you can get anything from a like a two H seventy series mm. uh, right up to something brand new. So even though they're very expensive at the moment, you can still find something a bit cheaper. So watch this series and just get ideas because you can always have the same general layout and you can always compromise with the gear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, I, hopefully it will give you some yeah some pointers and some tips, and um, we've got some new exciting sort of stuff happening with yeah. the build. Something you know stuff that will suit us, 
um, as videographers and traveling videographers quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. Um, one thing as well on Elsie, no, we're not selling her. <laughs> and we have had people sort of say, uh, why, why wouldn't you just do Elsie? Um, mm. You can spend a million dollars on Elsie and it's still a 40 year old car at the end of the day. Uh, I'm actually really happy we've got the opportunity now to take Elsie off the road. Yeah. Because I think the last trip nearly finished her off. Um, yeah. Like there's actually is... some pretty serious damage and yeah. stuff. It's sort of questionably roadworthy at this stage. <laughs> so I'm, I am happy it's off the road. Yeah. Um, she needs a break. Yeah, she needs a break. And yeah, it's going yeah, to yeah. give us an opportunity to start working on her. And, you know, this mm. might this will be over years. It might not happen anytime soon, but it would give, mm. give me an opportunity, us an opportunity to work on it properly and yeah. have professionals do things like the body work. Uh, but yeah, give her the love she deserves. Yeah, because we never expected to go as remote with Elsie that we have done. We've done two Simpson crossings, the Tanami Desert, the Kimberley, over to uh, WA a couple of times, yeah, Flinders. Up north, Queensland. Yeah, like we have been literally all over the country. The only state Elsie hasn't taken us to is Tasmania, mm -hmm. um, which isn't a bad thing considering she's not so watertight <laughs> and it rains a lot down there. So um, yeah, we're excited to kind of treat her because she's gotten us where we needed to go. Yeah, and I'm, oh, Holly's just uh, editing those videos right now. Um, mm. They're pretty cool. Some of the stuff yeah. coming up, we've got Kimberly, yeah. the bins track, the footage is really, really cool. Yeah. We're really Simpson excited. Simpson Desert again, yeah. Simpson Desert yeah. again. So yeah, it's definitely all those travel videos coming out of Elsie. Um, I suppose going back to the 70 series, another reason we got it is uh, we're gonna build it and we're gonna have an asset to sell. Mm. Whereas if we just upgraded Elsie, then we're, we've just got Elsie. Whereas this time, this time we have, you know, have two cars, uh, which is gonna make it, um, yeah, better for us in the long run. Yeah, it's also new content for you guys. I know a lot of people love Elsie and are diehard fans, but we still haven't gone away from Toyota. We've still got a Troopy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just gives, I don't know, something new and fresh, and it will hopefully increase our um, videos and the value, like the quality of them, because there were so many times on the last trip where we would drive, you know, eight, 10 hours, if or a four hour day, whatever, mm. we would get out of the car at the other end and be so exhausted. The last thing we wanted to do was pick up the camera and film. And be happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah even though that's like half of our job, it's still, it's, it was hard work. Yeah, so, it was. Um, yeah, we're excited to be a little bit fresher when, you know, we get to camp and be able to put more effort into the videos. Also just have, you know, a bit of security. You know, we now have airbags. Things like that, so yeah. we're safer on road as well. Um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, there's lots of reasons, but yeah, we're, we're just super excited. And at the end of the day, uh, a lot of this is because of you guys and the viewer. Uh, so we really appreciate you guys watching and all the support you've given us over the years, especially our patrons. Yeah. Um, everyone who's bought a shirt or a sticker or a patch, Stubby Cooler, it's just, yeah. And the community we've built up, we yeah, we really, really love, so. Um, yeah, it's, it's because of you guys and we mm. really, really appreciate it. So, and we're glad that we can just continue and don't have to stop. So yeah, that's right. All right. Well, uh, back to project Overlander in Sydney and yeah, watch this space cause yeah. we're going to be doing a pretty cool build on this new car. We need to name it. Oh yeah. If you have any name suggestions, maybe drop them in the comments. We'll might do a short list and then decide there's yeah. been a few things put out there. We're still deciding, but I feel like it'll be named once the build is finished. Or like mostly finished because yeah, until get the personality exactly until <laughs> then it's looking very well. Right now it looks very stock. Well, <laughs> it, it obviously is, is stock as a but rock. it's not the best looking vehicle stock. <laughs> they're think. funny. They're funny looking vegan stock with so. the underbite. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks, See you guys. Later. Cheers.